we had a lot of information on them. Um, certainly they beat us last year and I felt we were kind of underprepared for that game. So we weren't going to make the same mistake again. Almost felt like we worked for two weeks on, you know, their shape, their individuals. And I thought we really executed well in the first half. Unfortunately for us in the second half, it just turned into a bit of a battle and a bit of a scrap. And, you know, it wasn't really much of a soccer match in the second half. But credit to our guys, we've, we've done enough to match them and, and kind of grind out a, a win. And, and that's the GLBC. Sometimes you just got to grind them out. Uh, I mean, it's been... Like Coach said, he was, he was saying it's been a whole calendar year since we played. So, I mean, it just feels amazing. And the boys were buzzing. And, of course, I was too. So it was, it was really nice to get back on the field. And, I mean, what a game to start off with, right? Right off the bat with McKendry. It's probably arguably the two best teams in the, in the conference. So, I mean, it was a great game for us. And, yeah, I'm, I'm glad to be back. And I know the team is. And I'm glad we got a win. Yeah, very few surprises. In the first half, we've done a really good job of getting Brian, our number 10, on the ball. That was something we, we wanted to key on. We felt like there was maybe a bit of a weakness in their team. And we did that, and we got success from that. Um, and then I thought on the other end of it, Jack's goal, I thought we could have got something on a set play like that. And, and at the same time, I thought we had to be really, really good defending set plays. And, and we've got away with a couple in the second half. Uh, kind of rode our luck there to win the set play battle. but. If you win the set play battle in, in the GLBC, you give yourself a really good chance of winning the game. Well, actually, one of our um, one of our objectives was on 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 corner specifically, just play it right by the keeper because he he's been known just not to come out and just stay on his line. And and Kuba played a, a great ball, perfect ball, right to me, and I was right next to the keeper, and and no one came out, keeper didn't come out, and I I literally just stood in one spot and just jumped and just and just hoped for the best, and I just went in and. It was great to score, and I'm glad we got the win because of it. So, obviously, we we just ended on a high note, but the focus is is this Sunday. USI hasn't played yet, and we just played a massive game. So I know, I know we got to rest up and and keep everything focused. So Sunday's our focus now, and not the next game or the game after that. I mean, just focus on USI, and hopefully we can get another win. Yeah, we need to recover tomorrow. They they did not play tonight. Um, so therefore, we've not had a chance to see them play. We've got no idea what their shape's going to be. We're going to play them on Sunday, and it's going to be the first game for them, and there's going to be you know, all that excitement and energy that, that comes with that. So we're going to have to do a job tomorrow to get our boys you know, physically back to where they need to be and then to get them fired up to go again on Sunday. But certainly, Southern Indiana gave us a tough time last year, and we expect it to be tough away from home.